Rade, rade. Hello and welcome back to the Bhakti Breakfast Club. I am Daniel Tucker. You are crazy for harmonium and getting crazier. And uh, this is Harmonium 310, where you're going to be learning about comping styles. So in 310, 311, 312, in these courses, I'm going to be taking a deeper dive look at a specific playing technique that I may have touched on in the 200 level song courses. But in each one of these courses, I'll be going deeper into it. So in this Harmonium 310, we'll be looking at comping styles. And uh, there's a couple of the, of the 200 level courses where I introduced a comping style, like maybe anticipating a chord or using the 3 plus 3 plus 2 rhythm. But in this course, we're going to go pretty thoroughly into maybe five or six different comping styles, all of which I love. I'm really excited about this course. I love comping styles. It's just a fun way to liven up a song that you already know. Maybe you've been playing it for a long time. But as soon as you put a new comping rhythm in there, a comping style in there, it totally changes the feel of it. It totally revives a, uh, a song. And also one of my favorite things when leading kirtan is playing with a percussionist, maybe a tabla player, maybe, maybe a murdunga player. Um, but playing with a percussionist and getting that rapport between the singer harmonium player and the tabla player, it's a really fun relationship. And, uh, you know, basically you want to just be locking in rhythmically but that rhythmic lock-in can have more and more nuance and more and more subtlety. And if you have some different comping styles to play, then as the tabla player is doing flourishes or maybe getting faster or more complex or subduing it and becoming more streamlined and simple, you can interact with those rhythmic variations with your own comping styles. So there can be a little bit of a give and take and their rhythms and your rhythms are interacting, which creates even new rhythms. So it's a really fun part of playing harmonium. And in this course, we're going to use a simple Hare Krishna melody as the basis, or the example, uh, to take a look at all these different styles. So let me just play it for you real quick. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 So the Hare Krishna half of the mantra and the Hare Rama half of the mantra are the same. The melody for each one is the same, the chords for each one is the same. If you're signed in as a member, then click that golden supplement icon and download this song sheet and print it out. Um, it's pretty simple, and I'm not going to belabor the process of learning this whole melody. We will, in the next video, we'll learn the chords, um, but I just want to use this as a basis so that we can take a look at how the different comping styles function. What I was just playing there would just be called sustained chords. Then there's different things that we can do from there. We will be learning the 3 plus 3 plus 2 rhythm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. singing the same melody, but the harmonium part was using a 3 plus 3 plus 2 rhythm, which is the mathematics of it, the rhythm. Uh, the next one will be Anticipations. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 
pretty subtle, but it's very funky. So we'll get into that one. Um, another is Upbeat. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Beats. And, uh, and then the last one will be arpeggiation, playing arpeggios with the chords. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare So there they are, the Compton Styles. Again, the chords, as I'm going round and round, the chords are all the same. It's just a matter of the rhythms with which you're playing those chords getting changed. So in the next video, we will learn this little Hare Krishna song and play it with sustained chords, and then we'll build on it from there. So I'll see you in the next video.